Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how I create the flowers on my flower mugs. They're super fun to me, mainly because of the way that the petals kind of like curve and, and I feel like they have a life of their own. They kind of curve around the mug. I will be putting flowers on a couple of mugs today. So yeah, you get to see how I do it. Here it was so inspirational for me. I grew flowers, so many flowers, and they were just so lovely. And for this mug, I wanted to focus on the chamomile flowers that I and the cosmos flowers. And so this is just a overview of how I created the petals. The first part of this video is actually kind of funny um, because the petals that I creating that I'm creating right now are actually way too big, and you can see me making tinier ones because I was like maybe they need to be tinier. Because <laughs> if you look back on the chamomile flowers, the petals aren't really that big. Um, so I first started off with the center of the flower, and then I was like, mm, no, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Um, and then I started like creating the smaller petals and placing them on the piece to see how that kind of looks and see if. I think that would look great and I do want to preface this by saying that a lot of my making the flowers is trial and error um, I go in with a plan but I don't really um, think about like how it should be executed so I think <laughs> that's one of the reasons why it takes so long to create these mugs it's because I'm just like working from within I feel like like one of the things that's kind of like silly but it's also interesting is that um, I was telling someone that when I create my mugs I feel like when I look at the end product I don't even remember making them and I think it's like you're just so in the zone that you're not even like thinking about how you created it. So this is the part where I'm taking, <laughs> I'm taking everything on and off of the flower because it just didn't make any sense. It just didn't look the way that I wanted it to look. And I also think that <clears throat> excuse me with this chamomile flower the center of the flower is larger than the petals too and so I was just kind of going back and forth trying to figure out how I wanted it to look So here I just kind of gave up on the whole thing <laughs> and I was just kind of like okay well let's just move on to another flower <laughs> and if you notice the petals are larger and I just didn't really care for that either I was like ugh, and I feel like I was just at a place where I don't know I was I just wasn't happy with the way it was turning out and so I decided to make smaller petals hoping that that would kind of make me feel better I guess um, and just trying to get the lightness of the flower. I wasn't trying to make it perfectly the way that, um, well, I wasn't trying to make it perfect or make it look like the way it should look like a traditional chamomile flower. But I think I just wanted it to be the lightness of it, I guess, or the essence of it. And so... This is like the third one that I made um, and I finally got to the point where I was like, okay, <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> you could tell I like, I ripped off <laughs> the flower that was towards the bottom because I just didn't like it at all. And so I feel like this is what I love. It, it really was spot on exactly what I was looking for. And look. Here's the center of it. Oh, 
just makes me so happy. And I love the little indentions of the the um, the white part. And so now I decided I was like, oh, I could do this now. And so I'm going to put another flower underneath the vine and I thought that would kind of like accent it very well. My goal for this mug is to have a beautiful runny glaze that kind of pools in the crevices but also highlights the beautiful irregularities of the surface of the mug. Um, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but um, the way you can still see some of the carvings, I'm actually okay with that because I love this collection so much. This collection is, um, and I know I say that about all of my collections, but this collection is really cool because they're all like these pumpkins that have all these different personalities. And so I kind of felt like I wanted to create a type of like feeling, oops, sorry, <laughs> I was moving my mouse. I wanted to create a type of feeling with the mugs. I wanted the mugs to kind of have their own personality, their own quirks. Um, I would love to get to the point where I can actually write a storyline for each of the mugs because I feel like they're so quirky and so different. Um, oh, so sorry, I got sidetracked. So now I'm creating the petals for the bottom of this flower, um, for the flower that is on the bottom of this mug. And the petals have been sitting out for a while, so they're kind of hard. And I started off with tweezers because I thought the tweezers would help, but it didn't help at all. Um, <laughs> I went back to the tweezers because like maybe this will help. Um, so anyway. But I just kept tweezing around and actually in the end, I think the tweezers actually helped to move the clay um, petals without actually messing them up in a way. <laughs> So here is one of the best parts. So these are for the Cosmos flowers. I've created these small little petals that I felt like would look beautiful as the Cosmos flowers. Um, and I also used that tool in the middle. I'm so sorry. I've, I was going to like film everything, but I think it was one of those nights where I was like trying to hurry up because it was really late. and. I didn't really remember to film everything. So the extruder tool, which is on the right side of the screen, I purchased that from Amazon and it's such a cool tool. I think people use it for polymer clay, but it works just fine for the porcelain clay that I use. And so I use that tool to extrude these little tiny pieces of clay and then I would cut it off and kind of group them together to make the center of the flower. Is it called a statum? Statum? I don't know. <laughs> I better not say what I, I don't know. Sorry. Anyway, the statum or whatever, the center of the flower. <laughs> and I grouped those together. And then the little petals are, I mean the larger petals are created by, um, if you remember in a couple, a couple like a minute or so ago, um, those were created by uh, drawing these like oval like shapes cutting it out of clay and then placing it in like a fondant um, which is so cool like a fondant uh, shaper which <sighs> I didn't film either because I was just so busy trying to get this done but anyway oh, I'm sorry <laughs> so now I'm just attaching the petals to the, f the flower petals to the mug and I'm going around in a circle and I hate that I filmed it at this angle because you can't really see and I apologize for that but hopefully hopefully you get the gist of it um, after folding and rolling the petals to what I liked I started attaching the petals to around the piece and there's this beautiful gentle dip or a little like saggy part in the clay um, in this clay mug and what my mentally what I was thinking was that it would be so beautiful if the glaze just kind of flowed like right beside the flower into this beautiful dip 
so it just kind of flowed into the dip and I love drippy runny glazes and that's the idea of what I really want to accomplish with this piece because I want those drips to kind of hang and to kind of like obscure but also kind of I know I say kind of like 20 times but to obscure some of the mug but also pool in different areas so we'll see how it turns out um, the kiln does what it wants to do and glazes do what they want to do but I think it'll be so fun to see how it turns out in the end That's how I put on the center part. Um, I went after I added it to the piece. I was trying to pull off some of the center so that it looks a bit more natural and it worked. It looked really cool. You see how it's like separating from itself? It's really wonderful. Like that was like one of those moments where it's like, yes, this is what I wanted it to do. <laughs> and I think it looks really beautiful. I love how the petals are so separated from each other, but they are also very together, if you know what I mean. Um, I do feel like the flower is rather large on the mug, and but I do enjoy the juxtaposition between the tiny, smaller flowers and the bigger flower. It's like one of those like <laughs> flower girls or whatever, but it's really cute. Anyway, but thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.